Hi, I'm Mr. Petruzzi. Hi, I'm Ms. Weisner. Welcome back to school. And we're here with SALC going over new procedures for the return to school this year. Now, SALC is going to get us started. And here we go. Hi, I'm Mary and this is Sophia. This is the bus demo. If you're a bus rider, you'll be dropped off and you'll be entering through 36. When you come in, make sure you always have your mask on. If you're eating breakfast, you directly go to the cafeteria. If, if your classrooms are upstairs, you go directly to this staircase. And if your classrooms are downstairs, then you go directly to this. When you finish breakfast, directly go to class. Now Chris and Amaza are going to talk to the drop-off students. Hi, I'm Amaza, and this is Chris, and we're here to inform you that if you're being dropped off by a parent, you need to enter to your head on the football stadium side of the building. But also, before you enter the building, remember to always wear a mask. And also, when you go inside, Aureli will explain about the con no common meetings. Thank you, Chris. Now, here we are in the auditorium room. Normally, things like this and the halls would be great places to hang out. But this year, there are no congregating zones. You cannot hang out in these areas. When you enter the building, you must go directly to the cafeteria or to class. Me, Chris, and Amazer will now head to class. This year, there won't be any water fountains, but we will have a water station, so make sure you bring your own water bottle so that you can fill it up at one of these stations. Now, Hasbun and Annalise will talk to our drivers. Hi, I'm Annalise, and this is Hasbun. All drivers will enter through door 17 and either go directly to the cafeteria for breakfast or to directly to class. And don't forget to wear your mask. As you will see in a second, all of our stairs are one way, which means you will stay in the farthest right and going up the stairs. If you ever need help, there are signs on the floors and walls. Just like our staircases, our hallways are gonna work just like roads. Always keep to the right and stay out of the middle lanes, which are blocked by trash cans and red tape. Remember, if you need help, the signs are on the walls and on the floor. Some hallways in the building are only one-way hallways. Like a 2600 hallway, you can only go from history to English. Good morning. 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 Hi guys, my name is Toyan and as you notice the seats are a lot different than usual. Um, in every classroom seats are spaced six feet apart. Make sure you're respecting the space of your classmates and the teacher zone marked on the floor red. This year, all bathrooms are going to be color-coded. What color your classroom is on the map will determine what bathroom you'll go to. For example, this classroom is a blue pad, so I'll go to the blue bathroom. As you can see, blue pass, blue bathroom. Hi, I'm Jeff. We are now gonna go over the lunch procedures. Uh, one of the biggest changes this year is that teachers will escort you to lunch. Remember though, some hallways are one-way hallways. For example, this classroom is, a one, is in a one-way hallway. So even though the quickest route to the lunchroom will be to take a right, you'd have to take a left. When you see ropes like this, treat them like a roundabout. Rather than taking the quickest way, 
Go all the way around until you're taking the right direction. You'll notice hand sanitizer stations like this throughout the school. We'll, we encourage you to use them as often as necessary. Hi, I'm Jocelyn and I'm going to tell you how lunch is going to operate. Obviously, it's going to look a little different. Every student will have their individual desk instead of a table. Make sure to get your lunch and come directly to your desk. When lunch is over, your teacher is going to come and escort you back to class. When dismissal comes, it's important to remember to exit like you came in. Make sure you exit the building as quickly as possible. All right, thank you for coming back. When you come back in the building, please remember to keep these procedures in mind. See you soon. Stay safe.